Moving on, there are three main types of logical reasoning which we're going to run through. The first one we will look at is deductive reasoning. Are you familiar with this? Yes, deductive reasoning or a deductive argument is an argument that is intended to be completely true and certain. That is, if the premises are true, your reasoning will lead you to a logically certain conclusion. Correct. So to give an example of deductive reasoning. Premise 1. All men are mortal. Premise 2. I am a man. Conclusion. I am mortal. Or another one. Premise 1. All humans have brains. Premise 2. I am human. So conclusion, I have a brain. Yes, in each of these, if the premises are true, the conclusion is certain. Now then this differs from the next method of logical reasoning, and that is inductive reasoning. With inductive reasoning, the argument's conclusion is highly probable if the premises are true. So instead of being absolutely certain, like deductive reasoning, with inductive reasoning, the argument is meant to establish a high probability of the conclusion. Right, so can you give us an example of this? Premise 1. For the past 10 years, every time I've walked past the neighbour's dog, it has not bitten me. Premise 2. I will be walking past the neighbour's dog today. So conclusion, the neighbour's dog will not be biting me today. I... Or another example would be... Premise 1. All known living organisms need water to survive. Premise 2. Every time we have found a new living organism, it needs water to survive. So conclusion, if we found a new living organism, it would need water to survive. So as we can see, in the last two examples, the conclusions are highly probable, but they are not logically certain. So this would be an inductive argument. Right, so what is the third method of logical reasoning?